So I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day for you guys. Um, I don't really do these that often, but you know, I was thinking the neon trend is really big and um, it's kind of one of those things that you either love it or hate it. And for a lot of us, especially if you're a little more mature, if you already went through the 80s and the neon trend the first time, um, you might like it, but you don't just really want to go all out neon like you know the younger girls are are maybe doing and so um, I thought I would show you kind of the way that I do it um, just so you kind of have a hint of it you can kind of dabble with it you ha can have a little bit of fun with it but you're not going overboard and you still look like you know a grown woman kind of put together so um, this is a really super casual outfit this is what I would wear just around the house or um, if I were going to some sort of daytime outdoor event like you know a festival or a car show or something like that where it's going to be really you know super hot and um, I just want to be comfortable but still look a little bit pulled together and having a little bit of fun with my outfit so um, because you know the neon is kind of the standout thing everything else I have is just kind of um, muted or um, not plain but you know there's nothing else that's really standing out in my outfit so um, the first thing I have is just some silver hoops I'm also obviously wearing my diamond studs that I always wear so just some plain silver hoops um, just so that I look a little bit finished but these aren't gonna like stand out and really get a ton of attention um, I have my normal rings on that I wear all the time and um, so the first thing is this cute little fun bracelet that has all these you know sort of different neon colors on it and you can get these at Target, I think they're $4, um, but if you can't find them or if you're just feeling crafty, all you need to do, all this is, is um, embroidery thread. So just go buy yourself a generic, you know, $1 plastic bracelet or 50 cent plastic bracelet and then go to the craft store or the sewing shop and get yourself some neon colored embroidery thread and you just wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around and glue it, you know on the inside underneath and you've got the same bracelet um, and the friendship bracelets that we used to make in the 80s are all back now and they're charging st stupid amounts of money to buy them at the stores target um, you know they're charging like fourteen dollars for two of them or something you know if you're gonna go and do this then just pick up some extra and make your own friendship bracelets too like we used to do in elementary school when I was a kid for fun okay so I've got just a little bit of neon here in the bracelet and I could have stashed two if I wanted to but I just wanted to keep it simple because you know, as you can see the kind of main part of my outfit or the part that I want the eye to be drawn to is this belt. Now this belt, it's, it's looking kind of orange, the neon isn't showing up very well really on camera but um, it's kind of like a neon on the down low where it is a neon shade but it's not super duper glowing. Um, it's a little more mature. This is just a belt that actually came with a pair of pants or something I bought, I don't know, some years ago. And so um, it's just one that ties, you know, it's got these, these ties here. So I just looped it through the belt loops and then tied it here on the side at the hip. So this is where I want the attention to go and that's why all the rest of my jewelry is subtle. And also because I want the attention to go here, I kept everything else very neutral so I'm just wearing this white top it's just a tank top that I got probably at Walmart you know years ago um, it's got some kind of rouge lacy detail here on the front that goes all the way down and it comes up a little bit here with the sides it's kind of got sort of that rounded hemline a little bit and then I'm just wearing it with a pair of white shorts these white shorts um, are actually at least two sizes too big for me which will make you look wider than you are but the reason that I do that I have probably about two pairs of pants two pairs of shorts that I bought that way on purpose is because the place that I'm going to be wearing this outfit is going to be like I said at an outdoor festival or a car show or someplace and here in Ohio in the summertime it gets really hot and it gets really really humid and if you're going to be out in that sun for you know more than 10 minutes uh, you're gonna be sweaty and hot and <laughs> feeling it and so I like to have a couple pairs of shorts for those exact times 
that are too big for me because then the material kind of flows away from my body and so it's not stuck to you it's not adding to how hot you are um, it's just covering you up but it's not clinging to your body when you feel hot and sweaty and sticky and it's humid so these shorts are a little too big for me so just keep that in mind when you're looking um, at the outfit um, but that's that kind of event is where I would wear an outfit like this anyway and so that's why um, I have them that way <laughs> and I'm just wearing them with a pair of generic cheap you know one or two dollar white rubber flip-flops um, because they're comfortable they don't stand out you know you could put on a cute pair of wedges if you wanted to or a cute pair of espadrilles that are just very plain and neutral or white you know some kind of a white canvas thing or if you really want to go 80s you could bust out your white canvas shoes um, or keds and you know kind of go all out with the neon and the 80s look and wear them without socks that would be perfectly fine too but anyway so you know the bracelet and the belt they're not too much and they do add some interest to the outfit and um, so that's just a way to wear it you know and be a little bit more mature about it and a little more um, grown up maybe and a little uh, probably a little more pulled together than just kind of a t-shirt and denim shorts so these shorts by the way are they're not denim they're kind of a like a cotton sort of blend so like a cotton linen style blend which also adds to the coolness so that's the outfit and sorry I can't get kind of my whole body in the shot um, I just don't have a place where I can set my laptop and have that kind of space where I can get far enough away to do that but anyway so I hope that gave you a few ideas and um, just kind of get you started for you know somebody who's a little more mature um, or if you're gonna be at an event like that where it's just you know you're just going to be hot and sweaty but you still want to look kind of cute and but still feel comfortable at the same time it's a good way to sort of do that and it's a way to kind of touch on the trend without going overboard so um i hope you like this i hope it gives you a couple ideas and i will uh, maybe see you again sometime soon for another outfit of the day bye